Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your reading for the second half of July. I'm excited to bring a new edition and bring in five new decks. It's so exciting. If you're new to my channel, guys, welcome. I'm Miss Edie with Miss Edie's Tarot. If you're returning, guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for the likes, comments, and subscriptions. It's helping and contributing so much to the growth of my channel, and I appreciate all of you for sharing so that we're able to get the messages out to everyone who's meant to receive them. And of course, if you're new, guys, please let me know where you're watching from and how these relate to your situations. I love hearing how they connect. And of course, maybe there's a message here you're meant to receive. Again, just a reminder, these are not personal readings. So they're general readings. Take what resonates, leave the rest. And if it's not for you this time, then I'm sorry. Let's try to connect next time. I'm going to be using five brand new decks. So this is so exciting for me too. It's going to be related to love. So of course, if this is a person you're connected with in separation, haven't heard from in a long time, let's see what they're thinking and feeling about you. We're going to use the love messages and this is by the High Priestess 1111 channel. Love her. Support, of course, always supporting the other readers. Ooh, Aries, you already know this, but I just want you to know that you are sexy. You are so sexy. I feel like this is just that connection where they're feeling that hot passion, that vibe, that, you know, you know sexual energy that you guys give off so strongly. So they're just, you know, they're thinking of you. They want you to know that you're so sexy and that's always perfect. And it says, I'm sorry for hurting you. I never wanted you to feel bad in any way. So whatever they did to you, they are sorry. This person is thinking of you. Of course, maybe you got sexy since they last saw you or you've been working on you because that happened. Um, this person didn't mean to hurt you and this could obviously be someone if they come to mind, it resonates. If they don't, then it doesn't. But the, what other messages do we have? Love messages from my beautiful Aries for the second half of July. This resonates whenever you watch it. So please focus on what it means. I'm struggling to find the right words to say to you. Love it. And I just saw it, so I'm gonna read it again. But it says, I'm currently working on becoming the best version of myself. So they're trying to work on themselves. They're trying to express this. This could be different people. These could be different love messages. You could have lots of love interests. Now these are the eternal messages. So these are like those deep soul messages. What are they have what have they been wanting to tell you for so long? What is their soul yearning to say to you? So eternal messages, what are the messages for my beautiful Aries for the second half of July here? Let's see what messages they want you to hear and know. Someone could have a really hard time expressing towards you and maybe they did something or something didn't go very well so they feel like they hurt you or they didn't mean to hurt you maybe lack of lack of communication because they weren't able to express it maybe they took too long maybe they were too slow whatever it was you will hear from me soon Aries they're gonna be connecting with you again soon however this relates um, this is their soul wanting you to know but I know you've been right I am trying to forgive myself so whatever that they did, they feel bad. They really regret this. Again, I'm sorry for hurting you. I know you were right. Whatever happened, they didn't mean to hurt you. And they're sorry for this. They don't know how to move towards you, maybe to even apologize because they haven't forgiven themselves. So if they can't forgive themselves, then, you know, maybe they don't think you're going to forgive them or they're not able to move towards this. Let's see what other, Woo, those came out fast. Okay, we got a couple there. So let's see. I have been having dreams of you. So this person and you are connecting on the 5D. They're dreaming of you. You're dreaming of them. Of course, how these relate to your situation. I have an offer for you. This person wants to make an offer. What kind of offer? We'll find out. They're trying to come towards you. Of course, they do think you're sexy. So you're alluring them and bringing them in. <laughs> Just know I'm obsessed with you. So the <laughs> I have an offer for you because I can't get you off my mind. And then here's all these dreams. You know, I'm dreaming of you. So there's that obsessed of you with you that they are thinking of you. They want to come in with this offer because they want to tell you this. Possibly make this offer so you're going to hear from them soon. They could be working on whatever it is that they need to work on. This whole twin flame stuff scares me very strong connection of course you already got the fire energy but when you connect someone on that twin flame level it resonates and hits so different so i feel like this person is so drawn to you we do have the sexy so there is an attraction physical minimum right we get physically attracted to someone we engage in conversation through conversation you start realizing oh my god this person's actually amazing or wow we resonate so much or we have a lot in common or whatever the familiarities are 
So this is the next one. You have my heart, soul lovers and separation. So wherever you are, this is your soul connection. What are the souls wanting to say to one another? This is with Angelic Revelation 144. That's another channel you can support her too. Um, this is just to give you just a quick message. I believe the best is yet to come. Keep praying, stay positive and keep believing in us. So especially for someone, um, they're struggling to find the right words. So just have faith, faith and belief. I would wait for eternity to be with you. And if it's a twin flame, you know you guys don't meet often in the same lifetime. So there's a special connection here. That's why the draw is so strong. And if you're dreaming of them or you're obsessed with them, however the supplies, roles can be reversed. But this is just saying that I would wait eternity to be with you. I will never let you go. You are my one true love. I have been waiting a lifetime for you. So again, with that twin flame confirmation here, I feel like this is a very strong soul connection and you guys are both like divinely guided towards each other or were or have been, whatever you're feeling this draw towards this person, this attraction is deeper than anything. And I think you guys just lucked out with awesome vehicles that you're both attracted to, <laughs> you know, our bodies, whatever. So here it says, I would like you to meet my friends. I want you to be involved in all the areas of my life because you are my world and I want everyone to know. So this person wants to go public. Of course, they could be wanting to, um, you know, maybe if they want to, you know, make it official, right? They want to make an offer for you. So they want people to know that you're connected, that you're together. If you have been with this person already or they want to take things to the next level. Ooh. I always on my mind and in my heart yes that's you always forever so you guys are definitely confirmed to be on their mind they can't stop thinking about you the connection is so strong they're obsessing right so they're they're obsessed with what it is that they're feeling towards you they're obsessed with the connection now they can't get it off their mind they can't figure it out analyzing being analytical you know could be dealing with a lot of uh, different energies here divine love affirmations this is a self life a self love and relationships deck here again by the angelic revelations 144 awesome messages so let's see what the messages are in this divine love connection between you and the person doesn't matter if you are connected yet or not if you're in existing relationships these may apply as well too i feel like there's so many different ways that you can take these because of course these can be different people. It doesn't necessarily mean it's one person. You could have many options as well with that energy attracting in all sorts of different things. So let's see, divine love. What's the first one? I'm not gonna take all of you. What other messages do we have for the second half of July for Aries? Thank you. Let's get one more here. Let's get one more message please for my beautiful Aries. So chatty. <laughs> Like I said, this is always exciting because we always want to know what's going on and not everyone has the courage to express. So I feel like they don't have the words to let you know yet how strong they feel about you. So, and of course this connection, if it is a twin flame, okay, they don't want to come out yet. So let's see, what do we have? I am, ooh, I am love itself. I do not have to look outside of myself for validation. Powerful. I show myself unconditional love and compassion. I forgive myself for any mistakes and take only the lessons learned to set myself free. So again, they're trying to forgive themselves. They're working on this inner work, trying to become the best version for you, trying to become the best version of yourself as well. You're both working on this connection. You're both working on each other to come towards each other better. If you've been with me for a while, that's very significant. Rose is here too, okay? So this one says, I took, oh, I look at my connection with my divine partner from a higher perspective, knowing that problems, complaints, and conflicts are small in the grand scheme of things. Especially when you're meant to be together, all that other stuff is just part of the paperwork, right? Everything else that you gotta get to learn and get to know each other. Um, again, feeling this strong connection, you're always on their mind and they just wanna move forward. They wanna come out of this conflict and situation. Okay good we'll take these guys again more roses i love blue roses they're my favorite <laughs> so we have i choose to embrace love and laughter living life to the fullest with my divine partner so you could be truly exploring doing all this all this fun stuff with them you know i love you here's this person wanting to express how they truly feel towards you wanting to have that Ooh, we're not say twin flame and then look at this big flame here <laughs> um these twin flame things scare me here we go my divine partner is my perfect mirror. Okay. We reflect the light and dark within each of us for powerful healing and transformation. 
I am grateful for our divine love relationship anchored in true, pure, unconditional, and eternal love. This person, like, you guys have spent eternities together. And I, you've already had this come out for you guys a few times. And I was just confirmed with other decks too. Whether or not things have progressed with this person or maybe something happened and you're a little bit hurt over something. Again, could have taken a while for things to move. Again, conversations weren't happening. Expression wasn't happening. Because you're forgiving and learning. You're going through this or they are. But you're reflecting each other. What you're doing, they're doing. However this applies. I take ownership of how I make my divine partner feel I do my part to repair any hurt that I may have caused so this person genuinely wants to apologize or they are and they want to bring things into this calmer waters you know this beautiful sunset in the beach coming into that beautiful energy this connection is very very strong Aries I'm actually curious to hear how this relates to your situation looks really hot and passionate too this is the gilded tarot royale I'm so excited new deck breaking it all in for everybody today so let's see what the message is Emperor here you are Aries just confirming you're busy building a way, building yourself, improving yourself, making things happen that you want, doing all this planning, you know, in this Aries energy too with this emperor, you guys are really focused on your future, really focused on taking things forward. Again, divine masculine energy as well, divine feminine energy, however this applies, wanting to attract your person, someone who wants to build empires with you, not just any of those pages, not just any of those whatever types that just come and go. You want someone who's going to sit down with you on that drawing board and plan the future work together have this new direction looking at a new path you could be at a crossroads right because the situation didn't go as you wanted it to and you're kind of like what do I do where do I go right and so fire energy here too again could be dealing with another Aries this could just be you trying to make a decision on where to go standing at that crossroads looking in a new direction and just being like okay I did you know Rome wasn't built in it in seven days so we got a lot of work to do we got a lot of stuff to do so there's a lot of work that you need to do but you need to pick a direction could be needing to follow the light, could be finding your light. Doing that inner work is going to help you. Oh, enlightenment. Some of you are finding that path to enlightenment through this divine connection, whoever needed to hear that. But again, because you've been doing that work and choosing this new path, <laughs> I don't know if Harry Potter makes any significance for you, but there's that stag showing up there. This to me is also kind of like this new opportunity, this beginning, you know, this is like a new direction for you to be able to take in your your guides could be trying to guide you too. Of course, if you have your higher above selves, your higher selves assisting each other in the 5D, trying to connect, I feel like if your souls are so connected, you know, you're just like both sitting up there like, okay, can they meet yet? You know, can we bring this together? I feel like that's why this path, you're being guided right now very strongly, especially towards this person. This is a very divine connection, without a doubt. True twin flame here too. Losing sleep, sleepless nights. Of course, this person doesn't know what path you're choosing or they don't know which path to choose. This can be you waiting, wondering, fears, worries, or they are losing sleep over what happened. You know, they can't believe what they did and you're here gonna choose a new direction and they're worried that they lost you. Nine of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, trying to gain the wisdom. Someone could be losing sleep over figuring out how to plan the next step, plan the next move. Again, you know, doing that inner work to themselves because these fears, these are insecurities, these are worries, these are those things that someone needs to heal. And again, if you're mirrors of one another, which this divine partner was saying here, this card here, was saying that you're mirrors of one another, then that flame, that spark has to be ignited in both of you, in each other, separately, in order to attract each other, to find the light, to follow which way to go. Wow, jeez guys, thank you, that was awesome. <laughs> Sometimes the messages just flow. I know I talk fast and uh, hopefully you can catch up or slow it down. Um, when I, I saw one of the comments was saying that there's so many spirits flowing through that I'm talking too fast so you know I'm not making it up, <laughs> however it applies. So let's see whatever's coming out here. Oh my gosh, okay. We got these couple here. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Look at you guys. Told you, they think you're sexy. They're so attracted to you. Again, what this feminine energy could be, of course, the person, your partner. The feminine, masculine doesn't matter because we both consist of both of these, okay? So you're on fire. This is your energy, being attractive, sexy, hot. You know, they already think you're sexy. They already think you're attractive, twin flame. Then damn right, the attraction is hot and heavy, if you know what I mean. But this is also with this queen energy here too. You know, someone, again, entrepreneur, you know, really on ambitious, following this, really finding your sex appeal too. I feel like some of you are really standing in that confidence and really having that strong energy. Could be, of course, coming into balance
balance with yourself, right? Giving yourself that validation, like, damn right, I'm sexy, damn right, I'm smart, damn right, I know what I want, and I'm gonna go get it, right? That's that, that, that fire energy. Go for it or burn it down, whatever it applies. Don't literally burn things down, please, disclaimer here. <laughs> but for others of you, it's about bringing this, attracting that to you, law of attraction, working on that, you know, picking new path. Again, I'm reminded here, if you're trying to attract things towards you, then do not pay attention to the things that you don't want. If you keep emphasizing those old situations, that's what you're gonna attract. But if you change your mind, you change the direction, you're gonna be attracting different change. And here's the death card with the transformation. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be having that energy, but those burdens, right? I feel like for some of you, there is so much burden and you've had this for a while now, letting go of that old energy, Stop carrying the past with you, my darlings. You've been doing that work. These are those things that you're still holding on to. Again, the burden and the connection could have been in that situation that they're wanting to heal. Heal this with you. Transform from that to this, to come back towards you, to bring that in. Oof, what am I feeling? I don't even know what I'm feeling. A lot of energy here. A lot of energy. It's really nice energy too, guys. Just enjoy it. Let me know how this relates, guys. I feel like, again, four of swords coming out of that healing, leaving that burden behind. In order to leave the burden behind, this is for some of you too, it could be physical back pain, so be careful with your backs with lifting. For others of you, this is like, you know, please take care of your health. If you have not been active in your health, then this is an opportunity for you friendly reminder that you need to take care of yourself because if you overburden yourself and you hurt yourself then that's going to put you in that forced time out so i feel like for some of you you're ignoring the signs you're so focused on what it is you're doing and you're not resting because again the sleepless nights with the nine of swords here you need to change something about some of the habits you have it could be a little bit of negative thinking too it could be a bit of that stagnation that trapped energy right feeling all the way to the world literally all the way to the world on your back and that needs to change you need to learn those lessons gain the wisdom heal have this transformation so you can have that awakening right you see this light coming through here too it's kind of like while you're sitting here planning and trying to figure out what you want to do that's how this is going to work and again this person could be wanting to come in to repair things or you yourself are repairing yourself and you're mirroring one another so you're both doing that beautiful inner work to come in towards this so you can get up and go back out into battle put yourself back out there and just see what the world brings you and see who you attract to yourself now let's see what else is going on let's get a few more here at the end oh, new opportunity yes love it okay so we have again uh, a Scorpio energy with the death card Libra Gemini Aquarius with the four of swords then we have the two of Pentacles you could be juggling some options you know you are sexy you are attractive you're bringing in all sorts of things you're weighing the different options trying to figure out which way to go coming out of that rough sea you know things could be a little bit difficult but there's always rainbow after the storm guys so whatever it was that really hurt you that put you into that negative energy you know this new opportunity is coming here some big choices juggling a lot but really trying to make this new thing, trying to make a decision, plan of action, plan of investment, whatever this is. Again, multiplying, growing, earth energy talks about a lot of different stuff, so could be opportunities and work as well, but this is just them trying to figure out how to approach you, what to offer you to kind of calm things so that you can come into that healing energy. Love it. After that, we have the King of Cups. Woo! Could be Scorpio you're dealing with here too. Sorry, this was the, the Pentacles, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus that you could be dealing with. And this is again, King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But they are trying to figure out how to express, right? Tangible, physical, real, right? Trying to express their emotions, trying to put this out there. Water, rainbow, there's so much stuff. Like they're trying to come out of that darkness, trying to come out of that pain or whatever that situation was, trying to change this, trying to bring something into this positive light. You know, I feel like this person's kind of been through a lot. Here you are, maybe resting, maybe you were juggling too many things. Again, physical side, right? Too many things that you're trying to work on in the material world, trying to force things you need to take this time out maybe kind of come up with another plan so you can move forward but this person is trying to come in and express this love here beautiful energy strong feeling someone who's emotionally stable again you too having done what you needed but i feel like you're both kind of in this little time out here having these massive transformations in order to move towards the true person towards your divine love 
But I feel like that's amazing. I'm so proud of you guys. Keep up the awesome work, guys. Don't forget to check out all the other links, see which videos resonate with you, focus on the titles, and please don't forget to enter in the draw for the free reading giveaways at the end of the month. All the links are below, and if you activate one of those codes, I'm a part of several charities and foundations that feed families and children right now during this time. So for each code that you help activate, we're actually providing a meal for families and children, like I said, and you are gonna get free savings and up to 35% off on other savings with travel when you use them later. I love you guys so much. Thank you again for checking it out with me. Love and light. God bless you all and see you soon. Bye.